Hi, in this video I would like to demonstrate a very cool example demonstrating connectivity between native mobile applications and Java backend service. For the connectivity I'm going to use WebWorp for Java which hosts the actual service and as far as the mobile devices we have three different devices there is a, an iPhone, an Android phone and a Windows mobile phone. What makes this interesting is that the applications running on these phones are different compilations of the same app. So for the iPhone we have a native iOS implementation, for the Android it is a native Java app implementation, and for Windows Mobile it is a Silverlight application. Now these applications use the libraries which we provide for each of these devices. We have a library for iOS, a Java library for Android apps, and a Silverlight library for the Windows Mobile applications. These libraries provide connectivity infrastructure between a mobile application and the backend. The connectivity between these applications is actually slightly different. Specifically for the iPhone application, the connectivity is done via RTMP. As a result, the updates that the server brings in are more real-time in case of iPhone. As far as the Android and Windows mobile phones, they use polling. As a result, the updates coming into these phones are going to be either slightly behind or about the same as with the iPhone. Nevertheless, the effect is striking because all these three phones written in very different environments do receive the data in real time or close to real time and they're always synchronized. I will also review the source code for the Java application that makes this happen by using WebWorp. The source code for all three mobile applications as well as the Java backend it is also available in the blog post where you're going to be watching this video. I'm going to switch to my favorite ID editor, which is IDEA, and we'll demonstrate how this code works. And exactly the same code can be compiled and, and developed in Eclipse or any other IDE. So right here in the app start method, which is invoked when WebWorp starts up, I'm going to initialize the companies. So this is all the static data that is used. So list of companies is static, but that is beyond the point because the point here is to demonstrate connectivity. I'm going to also allocate a timer and that timer is fired every 1500 milliseconds. Whenever it is fired, it's going to invoke the update task. And this update task, when it runs, will just invoke update stock data. Inside of update stock data, I'm just going to update the values for all the companies for their stock quotes and then get all the connections, all the RTMP connections that are currently established with this particular application and then invoke client side function on each of the connections. So in this case, with this code, our iPhone application is going to be updated. For the polling applications, or the one using publish subscribe, I'm going to publish exactly the same object into a destination. So as you can see, this is my argument for my RTMP update and I'm sending back a collection of companies. As far as the publish subscribe, I'm going to re retrieve a destination manager and through this destination manager, I'm going to get the destination, which is called stock exchange destination, and then add my company's object into this destination. This way, all the publish subscribe clients will be receiving an update. It is very easy to configure WebWorp with all of this infrastructure. All that is required is to configure a destination and also deploy this application adapter. The instructions for this are also going to be included in the blog post. Finally, I'd like to mention that the version of WebWorp required for this it is going to be exactly the same version of WebWorp that you can download from our website and the deployment of it can be absolutely free with a community edition of the product. So download the product, get the source code for these projects, compile and enjoy.